Hey Queen, because this came up on a call yesterday, let's talk about what PR actually does for your brand. So PR is basically tools and tactics that you use to shape how people receive and feel about your brand. You can use it to shape public perception of your brand, create a positive image. And if there's something specific you're going for, if you want to be seen as an authority, if you want your brand to be welcoming, if you want people to feel like they're shopping with a best friend, you can create that experience using PR. PR is also a, a great way to increase your brand awareness, to get your brand on bigger platforms so more people can learn about you, hear your message. And ultimately with, with digital PR, because we're, you're putting yourself on, on bigger stages in front of more people, the more people you get in front of, we know this <laughs> with, with online shopping, the more people you get in front of, the more sales you're likely to make, right? So even though sales isn't a, direct result of PR. We know that the influx, if managed properly with an excellent marketing strategy, uh, a really great marketing machine that captures that traffic can actually convert to sales. PR is also a great way to boost your credibility. We know that 61% of consumers feel that they need to actually trust a brand in order to buy. So the more we can do to boost our credibility, the better. And Having your brand mentioned and spoken about by people, brands, platforms that other people trust is a good way to do that. And then reputation management is a really good one because often people only think about managing their reputation when things have gone bad and they're trying to do damage control. But if you are consistently nurturing your reputation, if you are consistently building it, growing it, by creating experiences on trusted platforms that add to your add to your mythology, add to your brand story, and that are positive, that are compelling, that make people want to connect and fall more deeply in love with your brand, then if something bad does happen, it likely won't destroy you because when people actually look at look at your brand and see how much there is out there in comparison to this one thing that has happened then they're, they're more likely to view it logically and within context as opposed to a bad thing happening and there isn't really any information about your brand online. So that's the only thing that people know you by and remember you by. And finally, PR is also excellent for building relationships. It's good for deepening your relationships with consumers because as I mentioned, you end up having information about you in different places and they get to learn more about you and your story, what you bring, see your value in different spaces. And of course you're building relationships with the media. It helps you build relationships within your community, especially if you're doing any kind of charity work, nonprofit work, giving back. And then because of the increased visibility and you're also being placed in front of potential collaborators, potential brand partners, you can leverage PR to build relationships in that sense, use it to open doors, to explore some of the other things that you wanna do with your business. If you want to use PR in your business and explore some of the ways that you can boost your credibility, boost your brand awareness, some of the other things I mentioned, take a look at my free case study video, how to get publicity for your business without breaking the back. All you have to do is enter your best email address and you'll get instant access to it.